Alright guys, so the time is 3.27 a.m. And we're going to make our way in right now. Alright guys, so we are here. Whoa. That would have been a fail. This is so slippery, man. So it's dark and wet everywhere. Alright guys, so today we are outside Hellingley Mental Asylum. And if the name doesn't send shivers down your spine, the stories about this place will. As far as we are aware, we're the first YouTubers to explore this place at night. So we're going to pay it a visit and show you guys what's inside. Be sure to leave a like, share and subscribe. And if you haven't already, put channel notifications on. Peace. Share this video everywhere to everyone. And get this video to 20,000 likes if you want us to revisit this place. Peace. Tag Joella. In the United States, more than 500 mental patients, including teenagers and children, die each year in hospitals for reasons that are questionable or unexplained. The boy's name is Billy Calhoun. He was admitted to Sagamore's autistic unit when he was seven. Now he's 20. Billy was transferred to the Sagamore infirmary after he became self-abusive. He's lived here in restraints for the past two and a half years. For this one, we haven't found an answer yet, and we've been working very hard at it. He's uh, beaten himself in every part of his body. He's thrown himself into the ground, into the floor, uh, torn at his body with his hands. He's rubbed himself against objects to, the, to raw skin. He's beaten his head to the point of detaching his retina. Not once, but twice. Any way that, that I could think of that he could abuse himself and injure himself, he's done it. Why is this child? Why did God create it? And that's all I've always wondered, you know. What does it mean? It has to have a meaning. Everything has a meaning. What is his meaning? Why is Billy here? I don't know. I remember seeing people drooling from the mount. I just questioned a lot of things going on. I mean, under the name of uh, mental health, I felt the people who were labeled patients were used as experiments. They were like guinea pigs. On August 17th, Andrew Zamora was injected three times with Sorrental, a powerful psychotropic drug. One of Sorrental's side effects is to disrupt the body's ability to cool itself. Andrew was in a room where the air conditioner was turned off. The windows were sealed shut. Andrew was kept tied down as the heat in the heavy canvas bed net became unbearable. And at 4.45 p.m., he was dead. Just imagine what it's like that you're sweating, that the heat is building up inside of that canvas bag, that there's very little means of your perspiring other than through your head. Uh, imagine what it's like to be struggling against I still have a hard time seeing the people I'm dealing with as, as people. Well, so we are making our way in. Look at this. So this looks like the way in. There's slugs up here as well. Guys, the roof is completely coming down. Like there's no framework other than the top. Can you see these little sticks? I can just show you how old this building is. It was founded in 1903, or well, built in 1903, should I say. I have no clue what this room could be used for. There's like just about enough space for three people to fit side by side. So I don't know why that would be here. Why would this door actually be here? What for? It's been the bad people when they've been bad. There's no bad people here. I hope. It's only metal. Someone's been kicking these doors. There's handprints all over it. 
There's like a two there, foot mark there, and some red marks up here. Right there. Just another massive empty room. Let's finish your bottom floor first. Okay. If there are any remaining souls here, we're not here to cause harm, we're just explorers. Time to upgrade. By the way, this is not for ghosts, just in case any crackheads we run into. Guys, yeah, this building is a lot bigger than I thought it was. Watch out for the holes on the floor. What the hell is that in the toilet? Yeah, all the toilets are filled with it. I think we should stop flooding maybe. I think that's the best thing to do. Lay down on weapons. Or we can peace. There's a big thing here. Like a cold breeze, I feel cold. And it's not cold. This drop. Imagine you never saw that and you fell the whole way. Look at this, you look. Don't come too close, but just peek over. Oh Stage life. <laughs> Not funny, man. That's a big drop. Let's go to the other side of the other floor. There's not much here. Here you go. I swear that something fucking pulled me, fam. I swear that something pulled me. We're all talking about my heart being back up fast, fam. I thought this whole building was about to fucking fall off my head, bro. Oh my days, fam. There you go. Something pulled me, man. I swear I'm not changing shit. Something pulled me. My back's burning, that sounds like fucking pull me bare hard. I need to get out of the phone and pass up. Check my back. My back's fucking burning. 
Oh, Hold this, please. Oh my god, it's actually fucking four. Let me one dirty fucking big scratch, bro. Your back's fully red, like free, literally. Let's get up, please. Come get up. How's your back good? Your jacket was on the whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to stop fucking talking, let's get out of here, man. I need to get the fuck out of here. Look at my back, please. Look at my back. What the fuck? Something Did tried to. Something tried to fucking pull me in. Oh, it's these lot. I swear to God. He just, he just literally slammed on the floor like, out of nowhere. And the door just slammed behind him as well. I swear to God we weren't faking it. This ref's actually fucked up. I beg you record it for my camera. How bad is it on a scale of 1 to 10? The right side is much worse. I feel like my head's pulsating. Look at my face. I'm fucking sweating everywhere. Do you know how cold it is? I don't know what to do. Well, was that really loud bang? I messaged you, but my messages didn't go through. 